general motion but having second mr speaker mr speaker i want to urge members to take it's very serious the address of the state of the nation by the president mr speaker Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my concern is on, not Honorable Junette, my minority, my minority leader, but Honorable Toto is kneeling. I know that the member she's speaking to is a very honorable and much older member, <laughs> but is she in order to be kneeling? <laughs> yeah, Honorable Sigay. Honorable Sigay. Honorable. I know it's an adult, but surely, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> In this house, we, we are presumed to be all equal. So uh, as on, much uh, as it be shows respect <laughs> culturally, but it is not Billy. in order. Yeah. Not order. in the house, no. Order. <laughs> Honorable Millie, order. Honorable Millie, if you go and read the Hansard, the last time the word kneeling was, this, was used in this house, a, a vice president lost his job. <laughs> Joseph Njuguna Karanja. Do you want uh, my comrade, uh, Ambassador Sigei, to lose his job? Oh. <laughs> Go on, Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, I am told the Honorable Toto has just come back from Uganda, and she yes. must have learned those Mannerism from uh, the Speaker <laughs> how to kneel before men. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, and that is the way it should be, Mr. Speaker. Yes. That's the way it should be. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Yeah, Mr. Speaker. Yes, that's on, Donya. That's on a light note, Mr. Speaker. Order, Donya. Donya. That's on a light note, Mr. Speaker. Order. Yes, Donya. Mr. Speaker, you know this statement might be taken serious. When we go back home, our men demand for kneeling. You will be ruining our marriages, Mr. Speaker. It is men who should kneel before women, not women kneeling. In this oh. 21st century, Mr. Speaker, we should not be told of what to do. Order, Donya. Order, honorable members. Order. Honorable members. Jaka Wamboka, member for Bumula, can tell you that from the community where we come from, women kneeling for their men is an ordinary course of things in their houses. <laughs> Go on, Jeanette. I am not talking of your community. Go on, Jeanette. <laughs> Jeanette, go on. Order. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Speaker. Order, Donya. Donya, sit down. you are getting disorderly. Take yeah. your seat. Mr. Speaker. I never talked of any other community. I talked of Wamboka's community. Mr. 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 Speaker. Mr. 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 Speaker. Yes. Mr. Speaker, uh, if I may move forward. Mr. Speaker, we are just giving tactics of how to spice the marriages, Mr. Speaker. We are not doing anything bad. <laughs> How marriages can be better, can be, and there are places where even men kneel, and they know men know they can't say it in the camera, Mr. Speaker. Anyway, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that uh, we have to take members must take the address of the nation by the president very serious, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, members should understand, should know better, because Mr. Speaker, it's a constitutional requirement. It's not just any other event, Mr. Speaker. The president comes to parliament and addresses the nation on issues that have been stipulated in the Constitution, Mr. Speaker. Issues of national security, international obligations, the economy, and all kinds of things. And you will see at the end of his address, Mr. Speaker, he will hand over documents, set of documents to the Speaker. That tells you how important the address is, Mr. Speaker. And that is the reason why Parliament as a National Assembly has allocated four sittings, four sittings, to discuss and to, to talk about the address of the President, Mr. Speaker of the Nation. So, Mr. Speaker, it is a very serious constitutional obligation 
It's not just like any other thing that the president comes here to talk to us. And it is one of the ways constitutionally that this house holds the president accountable. Because every year he comes here to tell us what he has achieved the last one year on those four areas, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, it is my wish to tell the, the members that let us take this, that address very serious. Let us attend in all our numbers so that we can uh, listen to the president. And after that, use the four sittings that follow the address to dissect and talk and tell Kenyans what your thoughts are on the issues that the president has addressed the household. Mr. Speaker, with those few remarks, I, sub, uh, I second Mr. Speaker. I want to propose a question. Honorable Jeanette, Irene Mayako was very excited when you are talking about women kneeling before men. 